You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. OK, we're lucky enough to catch up this morning with Jay Lenton. Um, Jay, uh, being part of the squad for the first time uh, as a rookie, how's it going so far? Yeah, good, mate. Really good. It's, uh, it's only a small squad at the moment, but the boys have really, uh, really welcomed me in, so it's good, mate. Good to get into the fitness nice and early. You grew up playing your cricket on the Central Coast. Tell us a little bit about your background and, and, and how your cricket went growing up. Yeah, I grew up on the coast. Uh, I didn't really start cricket until I was about 10, 11. And then I played for a club called Tookley up on the coast. And uh, from there, just played me grade cricket up there and decided to come down to North Sydney about when I was 18 years old, so about four years ago, and played down here since. So. And coming down to Sydney, how did how, you find that in terms of a big difference in standard, you know, coming into grade cricket from, from your cricket there? Yeah, massive, massive standard change, but uh, it was good. I started in twos down here, so I didn't, I wasn't really chucked straight into the big stuff, but worked my way up and really enjoyed it, mate, ever since. So. Now I hear that you've got a, a bit of a background in um, surf lifesaving, and your dad's uh, actually coached someone quite famous. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh yeah, back in the day, Dad and Steve Lenton, he, uh, he coached Kai Hurst, who's obviously out there in the swimming world and the Ironman world, so. It's good to be around that. When I was younger, that was probably like, really young to about 12 years old. And yeah, so I've had that base and background as well. So yeah. When it comes to, to your own cricket, uh, wicket keeper batsman, um, where do you think you, your skills lie there? Is one a little bit better than the other at the moment? Mate, it could definitely improve on both, but I like to think that my keeping's quite good at the moment. So obviously there's a lot to learn, especially part of the squad. I've got probably two of the best keepers in Australia here above me at the moment. So I've got Peter Neville and Brad Hutton to learn from, so I'm really looking forward to it. Same with the bat, there's plenty of people around, mate, that are going to help me out. So, In terms of the, the two keepers, Hutton and Neville, have you had a chance even to, to sit down with them yet and do some work? Not, not really too much. Like, Nev's obviously here at the moment, which is really good because he's part of the small squad. So when I get the chance, when we do our skills sessions more, I'm sure I'll, I'll get in his ear and probably get a bit annoying. But that's what I want to do, mate. I want to learn off him. And hopefully when Hads comes back, I'll be able to talk to him a bit. You've had a touch of, uh, of stepping up a standard. You, you played in the first grade uh, one-day final and also since second 11 cricket. Was that step up to second 11 playing with some really quality grade players, you know, did that teach you a bit? Yeah, it definitely did. It, again, it's another level, it's another standard up, so it's really good to get amongst, I suppose, all the, the cream of the crop in the, in the grade cricket, and then obviously to play a couple of games, I've got to play against some, some good players from Queensland and Victoria, so yeah, you can really see the difference again. And tell us a little bit about what it's like to, to be a rookie, first time for you to, to come and, and be a, a, a full-time cricketer obviously you work around that but what's the schedule like you know as a rookie at, at you know in your first year I guess at the moment it's just being here as much as you can just to get that that fitness base and to get into pre-season meet all the guys and just kind of kind of get a knowledge of what's happening around but obviously yeah we I do I do work so later later in the season I guess next couple of weeks I'll I'll really get into basing out my work and my in my cricket in a, in a squad with some big characters and you know a lot of superstars, um, is there anyone in particular you're really looking forward to, to getting to know this year? Oh mate, you always love Dougie. Dougie's been here since day one, so he's 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 a character, but he's uh, he's definitely helped us, mate. He's one of one of the best out there. And obviously there's, there's a lot of people, mate. There's Haddon, Watson, there's Warner, all the names. Michael Clark, of course. So mate, looking forward to just the whole year. Can't wait.